be happy with what you got. Because the owners of this country don't want that. I'm talking about the real owners now. The real owners, the big wealthy business interests that control things and make all the important decisions. Forget the politicians. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. They got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They got you by the balls. They, they spend billions of dollars every year lobbying to get what they want. Well, we know what they want. They want more for themselves and less for everybody else. But I'll tell you what they don't want. They don't want a population of citizens capable of critical thinking. They don't want well-informed, well-educated people capable of critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. That's against their interest. You know what they want? They want obedient workers. Obedient workers. People who are just smart enough to run the machines and do the paperwork and just dumb enough to passively accept all these increasingly shittier jobs with the lower pay, the longer hours, the reduced benefits, the end of overtime, and the vanishing pension that disappears the minute you go to collect it. And now they're coming for your social security money. They want your fucking retirement money. They want it back so they can give it to their criminal friends on Wall Street. And you know something? They'll get it. They'll get it all from you sooner or later because they own this fucking place. It's a big club and you ain't in it. You and I are not in the big club. By the way, it's the same big club they use to beat you over the head with all day long when they tell you what to believe. All day long, beating you over the head in their media, telling you what to believe, what to think, and what to buy. The table is tilted, folks. The game is rigged. Nobody seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. Good, honest, hard-working people continue to elect these rich cocksuckers who don't give a fuck about them. It's called the American dream, because you have to be asleep to believe it. <laughs> Human beings are nothing more than ordinary jungle beasts, savages. No different from the Cro-Magnon people who lived 25,000 years ago in the Pleistocene forest eating grubs off of rotten logs. No different. Our DNA hasn't changed substantially in 100,000 years. We're still operating out of the lower brain, the reptilian brain, fight or flight, kill or be killed. Now. We like to think we've evolved and advanced because we can build a computer, fly an airplane, travel underwater. We can write a sonnet, paint a painting, compose an opera. But you know something? We're barely out of the jungle on this planet. Barely out of the fucking jungle. What we are is semi-civilized beasts with baseball caps and automatic weapons. It just seems to me, seems to me, that only a really low IQ population could have taken this beautiful continent this magnificent American landscape that we inherited. Well, actually, we stole it from the Mexicans and the Indians, but hey, it was nice when we stole it. Only a nation of unenlightened half-wits could have taken this beautiful place and turned it into what it is today, a shopping mall. Mile after mile of mall after mall. Many, many malls. Major malls and mini malls. They put the mini malls in between the major malls. And in between the mini malls, they put the mini marts. And in between the mini marts, you got the car lots, gas stations, muffler shops, laundromats, cheap hotels, fast food joints, strip clubs, and dirty bookstores. America the Beautiful, one big transcontinental commercial cesspool. And how do the people feel about all this? How do the people feel about living in a coast-to-coast -coast shopping mall? Well, they think it's just fucking dandy. They think it is cool as can be because Americans love the mall. They love the mall. That's where they get to satisfy their two most prominent addictions at the same time shopping and eating. We got to be the most interesting critters on the planet. And then we wonder why a UFO doesn't just land and say hello. 